is out. It's been a great trip. I'm just having a bit of trouble. My, my uh, laptop's gone flat, so I'm just trying to plug that in, Paul, and you should see the mess I'm making here with all the cords. <laughs> my wife Priscilla's here with me laughing at me because I'm trying to get this thing sorted out. Uh, but uh, yeah, look, the laptop's starting to work now. But Malachite rocks out, so I can't give you any updates because it's got a fire up and we've got a full moon in the back, so the devils are out there with us, the wolves are here as well. But yeah, look, I uh, hope everyone continues to have a, a great time in life. I've had a ball being part of harness racing here in South Australia and uh, really enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, but it's time to uh, hang up the binoculars. All right, Malachite Rock, late scratching. He's out of the race. So we're just about set to go now for our final event on the program, the happy retirement, Jim Jake's pace. Let's hope you have a happy retirement, Jimmy. All right, we're set to go. Ready? Green light on, away and racing. From the centre showing speed was Binwa is going to find the front. Gets across and finds the lead. Liberty TJ moves up on the outside. On the inside, come on, Sloopy. John Lee just behind those were Marty's parties. They make their way around the bend. Lead time covered in 13.1 as they go around the bend. Brownie's on the inside, three back there. So he's fairly handy with Giant Jackson. Then in turn behind those was Golden Jailer, who pushed through from the second row. OK, Steinman went back at the tail end of the field. Maneuver Man's back there with it and Sutter Man's last. Last of all, speed looks genuine as they go down the back straight. Lead time confirmed as 13.1. And Benoit out in front. Leads away by three metres. Liberty TJ facing the breeze but has one in that position before. On the inside, come on, Sloopy. She stays handy. Marty's party has one out, one back. Back behind those on the inside, Giant Jackson and Golden Jaylet. They're starting to fill their positions a bit better now. Not so many gaps. Steinman's back in third last placing. Maneuver Man behind him and Sutter Man at the tail end of the field. First quarter covered in 31 seconds as they bring them into the front straight they'll get the siren on this occasion and out in front it is Binwa he gets the siren, he leads by two metres in front of his stable mate Liberty TJ he comes to me by Darren Billinger on Steinman he's going to leave no stone unturned he wants to win the Jim Jakes retirement pace and he puts him out three wide and goes forward quickly, Marty's party he's in the one out one back on the inside come on Sloopy, Giant Jackson three back the inside, Brownie's looking for an out but he can't get it, then Golden Jailet Maneuver Man can't keep the back of Steinman Sutterman's waiting for them to take him closer to the action. He's 25 metres from the leader. Second quarter, 31-7. 62-7 for the half. Liberty TJ tries to go closer to Benoit. Steinman three wide. Marty's party in the centre. On the inside, come on, Sloopy. Giant Jackson. The others look too far back to feature. In the meantime, Liberty TJ poked his nose in front. Benoit on the inside. Steinman out three wide. Continues to make ground. On the inside, come on, Sloopy. Then Marty's party. Giant Jackson behind. Behind those, Liberty TJ though goes to the lead by a metre on the inside. Binoir on the outside. Steinman, Liberty TJ in front, trying hard. Steinman down the outside. Liberty TJ, Liberty TJ takes out the Jim Jake's retirement pace, and Danny Hill does it. Second placing Steinman, third placing Binoir. Come on, Sleepy behind those. Not far away was Giant Jackson, Sutterman, Maneuver Man, Golden Jail. At last one to put up was Marty's party, and the late scratching was Malachite Rock. Danny Hill, South Australia's premier driver. And what a coincidence that might be, hey? When I lost my voice 12 years ago, it was the same day that Danny Hill got injured really badly and really cut the optic nerve in her eye. That same day, we've got a connection. Jake's is leaving, and Danny gets the winner home in the last. Tonight at work, and so have I. We've had a bit of fun between us all over the years and really have appreciated everyone's support and their, their well wishes that I've had. I've had calls from Malaysia today uh, with Mark Liddymore from New Zealand with Chris Simpson, plenty of people all over Australia and very special thanks to everyone that's given me all the support with my last race call as far as retirement is now up and running and we've got information coming from the stewards right now. There we go. Thank you, Simon. So even Simon, you and the Cherish you tonight has congratulated me as well. Everyone's on the phone congratulating me. Hey, thank you very much, everyone. Really enjoyed it. Les Harding's down on the lawn giving us a wave. Got my lovely wife Priscilla here with me. And we're going to have a bit of fun. And hey, look, we've had a good ride. It's been a great time in harness racing. And I'll see you when I come back on track as a visitor rather than a commentator. Good on you, guys. Keep up the good work. Well, there you go. That's it. That's it. And the phone continues to ring.
<laughs> How are you kissing my microphone? <laughs> so yeah, it's been a great, uh, great time. Really enjoyed it. And uh, special thanks to Beasley Productions for doing this little uh, filming. To Lee and Max, and Mary, Mary Chanel has uh, been part of the team and part of MobileRolling.net. And uh, yeah, well, look, we've had a we've had a pretty good time. It's been a good time. Enjoyed it, but. As you can hear, my voice is shot to bits, it's stuffed, and it's time to retire. And doesn't matter what trainer you are, if you had a horse where the legs didn't work properly and it wasn't performing to where it should, you'd just retire it. And that's basically what I'm doing. But um, I've had a lot of, lot of fantastic moments, a lot of good people within harness racing. I've driven against them and I've called them home as winners. And I just hope the, the sport can prosper and and, and rise and go to another level which it needs to but um, yeah I wish everyone the very best of luck. That's about it for me for Globe Derby here tonight and uh, going to spend a lot of time with my family, uh, our grandchildren, we'll have a bit of fun with them won't we Priscilla? Yeah and uh, yeah that's about where we're at so that's it. The queue goes in the rack and that's the end of the chapter for Jimmy Jakes. Thank you all. <laughs>